Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about turning moment on crankshaft. So we have already done the engine force analysis and we have discussed about the crank effort. Where crank effort is the, this crank effort is what? It is the force, the net force which is applied at the crank pin and it provides the required turning moment on the crankshaft right so the turning moment is basically because of the crank effort in various positions of crank if we look at the crank pin which is point a we see that there is a tangential force which is ft and this ft tangential force is nothing but the crank effort or the force which is trying to rotate the crank about this fixed end o so this crank effort is actually providing the turning moment to the crank and it is trying to turn the crank. Therefore, turning moment is what? This force, tangential force Ft into perpendicular distance that is R. Now, this can also be equated with the force of connecting rod. So, for turning moment, if Fc is the force that is to be applied, so the perpendicular distance will be let's say it is OR. So, to find the value of OR, we make a small construction. We extend BA to a point R and this angle is what the exterior angle of the triangle. So its, it, its value will be the sum of interior opposite angle. So it will be theta plus beta. And if AO is R, the value of RO becomes R sin theta plus beta. So FC R sin theta plus beta is equal to FT into R. And we have already equated this that Fc, if we balance this equation, if we draw the free body diagram for point B, F is equal to actually Fc cos beta, right? So Fc becomes F upon cos beta. So we can replace Fc with F upon cos beta into R into sine theta plus beta, right? Where R is the length of the crank. So, if we expand this equation sin theta plus beta, it becomes sin theta cos beta plus cos theta sin beta, right? Now, if we take this cos beta from outside the bracket, inside the bracket cos beta, it gets cancelled out for the first term. And this is what we are left with, which is f into r sin theta plus cos theta sin beta upon cos beta. Now, during the engine force analysis, we have already discussed and derived the equation for cos beta, which is 1 upon n under root n square minus sine square theta, where n is what the ratio of length of connecting rod to the length of the crank. So, n is what L upon R. And theta is what the angle which the crank makes with the line of stroke and beta is the angle which the connecting rod makes with the line of stroke. So, and we also know that sine beta is sine theta upon n. So, where he here we have replaced sine beta with sine theta upon n and cos beta with this term, right? So, n it gets cancelled out and we are left with this value. And 2 sine theta, then we have what we have done? We have actually multiplied numerator and denominator by 2. It won't change the equation. So, 2 sine theta cos theta becomes sine 2 theta and remainder sorry denominator is 2 under root n square minus sine square theta so this is the value of the turning moment of the crankshaft and we can also denote this turning moment of crankshaft like ft into r it is equal to if we want to denote it in terms of the piston force it will be f into this perpendicular distance which is o d right so whichever way you want we can solve it by doing the numerical